everyone. I'm gonna take two here. Um, change my shirt. I watched that last video that we just did live. It uh, wasn't very good. I apologize about that. Um, hey, Doug here at Forbes Trail Trout Unlimited. Um, I take two on this video. Uh, my last shirt that I had on was black. Didn't seem to work very well. Um, kind of like it was a very blurred picture. I apologize. Um, what I'm tying here tonight is a ecstasy egg. Um, it's an ecstasy material. It's in a mojito color. Just comes in just the standard, um, nothing, uh, just, I don't know, chenille, I guess you can call it type material. Comes in multiple colors. It's, I have it here. This one here is called fluorescent yellow. It comes in shrimp pink. There's quite a few colors uh, that you can experiment with. Um, with uh, our trout season here in Pennsylvania starting here on, what is it, April 4th or April 3rd. Here's our first day. Uh, this is a very popular fly here to use. I mean, it's easy to use, easy to tie, uh, very productive on, the, on those stock rainbows. What I'm going to be tying it on is a... Trout Legend J300 size 12 barbless hook. Uh, that barbless hook, don't let that scare you. That, bar, that barbless hook does hold on to the fish very, very well. Um, like to not use barbs at all. I try not to tie anything with barbs. If I do, I like to mash them down right there in the vise. Uh, practice safe catch and release. That way, harms the less harm for the fish. Um, the bead that I am using is a 2.5 millimeter tungsten slotted bead used for that jig hook. You can see that little bit of slot right there. Uh, it is in a silver or chrome or bright silver, however you may call it. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a put a hook here into my into my vise. The thread I am using. Tonight is a separate fly, six aught fluorescent yellow. Uh, the fluorescent yellow, it you don't really see a whole lot of the thread uh, with uh, up against here. Everything is pretty much getting tied and hidden underneath the material anyway. You do get a nice little hot spot, which is kind of why I like to use the fluorescent. I also use the uh, orange for a hot spot or even a red. Start to fly here, get my get my bead situated. Lock it down. Build up a nice little base behind that bead. You don't want that moving on you. Tie up about uh, three quarters of the way of the shank. You do not have to cover the shank with this. I really like to tie this fly. I'm using the size 12 here just to make it a little bit larger, easier to easier to see. Let's see if I can focus in. It's easier to see. Line here, I guess it. Um, I'm hoping that's coming in clear. Uh, I like to tie these in a size uh, 14, size 16. If I do get into a size 16, um, you you can see that there is a nice large gap between. That's why I like these J300 hooks. That gap is pretty good. It does hold a lot. Of, you can put a lot of material in there. But if you don't feel so, if you don't feel very confident, and there's too much material getting to the bottom of this on a smaller hook. You can easily just trim the bottom of the fly up a little bit to open up that gap. Now, I'm getting your ecstasy material. I only like to tie with it with a little strip. I don't like to get a whole bunch of it. It's just make too cumbersome. And if you also look with this ecstasy, there is a slight little pattern to it. It's like pointing in that direction, which is the direction you want it to go. You want the direction to go away from the bead of the hook and I will show you why because we're actually going to start palmering this material back as we tie on the hook.
tie the material get your just simply just tie it on just like we did with the mop fly just get a little bit of that material out tie it on and then just bring your thread all the way to the beat of the hook you are not going to need that thread whatsoever until you get tied down so what we're going to do is we're going to do try to do three try to do four i want to get four or five wraps out of this size 12 here but usually i do three or four on a size 14 or a size 16. now here is where this material facing this direction comes into play when you wrap this around your hook you can see it gets it's already it's already trapping along covering up a lot of the hook shank what you want to do is get all this material and start palmering it back you can actually see the thread right there where you're going to line your next material your next wrap up to so every time you do a wrap palmer it back you can see I'm open I'm really opening up that hook shank there for adding more material so do a wrap and then palmer everything back then do a wrap As you can see it still wants to face forward but just feather everything back and just work your way all the way to the bead I might have got six wraps out of that. That's why I don't really like using the larger hook here, but it does work very well for tying these videos. Trap it down behind the bead two or three times. Give another two or three wraps and then trim that off. And basically, there's your egg. Quick, easy way to fill up your box. Lots of colors. Change the bead head up, go all the way up to, there's times I'll use it for a 2.0 and I'll tie it all the way to a 4.0 tungsten slotted bead. Depending on if I'm just using that fly by itself or if I'm using it with a tandem with another fly. But that's it. Simple, quick, easy tie, easy way to fill up your box, uh, very effective. Should be able to catch a lot of fish on it this weekend. Um, and on the last video, I did see a question about it being posted onto the website. I will try to get it on the website. I'll see if Scott can post it. Um, if not, I'm going to start posting these on our YouTube channel. If you look up on YouTube, uh, you can also, uh, I think it's under Forbes Trail. I think it's Forbes Trail Trout Unlimited. You can look under YouTube or Forbes Trail TU. Um on YouTube. Uh, I'll get these here probably within a week. Every video that I do here, I'm going to try to put it up on YouTube as well. So I know not a lot of people have our Facebook and a um, lot easier to use the YouTube and you'll be able to rewind everything and pause and keep going back and forth to it a lot easier. So guys, good luck on the first day of trout. Um, hope this fly works for you and uh, looking, to see, looking forward to seeing you guys on the water. Have a good week. Good luck everybody.